So I went up four clicks. We'll have to. You'll have to help me remember that, and uh, we'll go verify. Then we'll go to 150 and see what we got, and then 200, and then I may try the good old free-handed that I love so much. But, uh, I don't know, for side-end purposes, I always like to use some kind of a rest. You know, because there's a lot uh, that can change, you know, with the shooter. You know, you, you, you side it in with some sort of a rest. This is really not a great rest, but... And then, you know, you make sure the rifle's on, and then you try it with your way of shooting. You know, there may be a, a slight variance, but uh, here we go. We'll go look at it. We'll go for the good old buggy ride. I know a lot of my... You know, friends, they really love this, this part of the country. that was me pulling or what I'm a little higher but not much higher but I'm scared to give it well I gotta walk it up I may give it give it four more and see if I can get on up in there well I'm gonna go ahead and pause you all right way back on four clicks didn't bring it up as much as uh, I wanted so I'm gonna give it four more and just see if I can get it, get it where I want it. You know, cause uh, ain't no telling. I mean, it's we we're trying for a hundred yards here. I want dead center to hundred. That's what I, I told him I was gonna side in for. I'm just a little bit short at a hundred, but uh, I want him on at a hundred cause that's what he's gonna base all his shots off of. So here we go. Rifles grouping well. I I would be a little concerned about the uh, ejection problem. It seems to be extracting okay, but uh, ejection uh, it doesn't really want to throw that uh, empty case out. So here we go. All right, got a neat little safety though. I, mean, I like I like that. That's pretty cool. All right, here we go. One hundred yards. Wait a minute. I forgot to give it the elevation adjustment, didn't I? Yes, I did. All right, here we go. I'm behind the rifle. It can't get me. One, two, three, four. So I know I've gone up a total of eight clicks. So that should be two inches at 100 yards. But here we go. You are up close and personal. All right. Here we go. Yeah, it vigorously ejected. You gotta rack the lever vigorously on this. So, I don't know. Otherwise, beautiful rifle. All right. Okay. I know this is a lot of back and forth to the target, but figure you shooters would probably, uh, like this so on the next string i'll probably do uh like a shot each on the 150 and the 200 see what i can do with it Gum, look at that. Now that makes absolutely no sense. Now I'm way up here. I don't know if the adjustments didn't hold. This is a frustrating part about sighting in a rifle. 
Could have been me. I was pretty shaky. All right, I'm gonna redo that. All right, I'm chasing that zero, but that was a very weird result. You know, I'm gonna fire. I don't know. I mean, I might have got to talking. Did I put in eight clicks? I mean, uh, did I put in four clicks and then four clicks again, or or what? But uh, I'm gonna confirm that shot. And uh, if that's the case, I'm gonna back it back down again. Cause I mean, I'm not that far out. I hate heating up the rifle too, you know, but time, you know, is kind of a, a factor. Of course this rifle was holding, even, even heating up, but it, it shouldn't move that much. Uh, here we go, I'm gonna confirm that shot. All right. All right, here we go. Confirming shot on that, just to see if we're way high now. Of course, I can see like my movement, you know, heartbeat and everything else. Cause I've been moving around, you know, going down there back, you know, so that, that takes a little bit of the uh, steadiness off of the shooter. There it goes. But of course I, I could have pulled that shot, that's what I'm trying to say, but uh, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna try again. Okay. I think I figured it out. Ah. Uh. I might have been dealing with parallax because I noticed when I was uh, looking through the scope, you know, I've got the scope dialed up. When you dial it up like that, it, uh, it significantly reduces your eye relief. Well, when I was looking, right before I pulled that shot, I was back and I could see that black haze around the edge of the scope. And I may not have had the cheek weld on that shot before. And I may have been affected by by parallax. Well, I crept I crept up on the scope just a little bit. I'm gonna open this so the barrel can get a little air. I crept up on the scope and then I got full, you know, uh, view of the uh, target. You know, without the little black haze. And I'm thinking I'm gonna see. I'm hoping. But if this one's up there with that other one, we're gonna bring it back down one more. You know, four more clicks. But, uh, here we go. Let's go see what we got. I, I make it, uh, I do, even if it makes myself or even a, a rifle or whatever look bad, I like to keep my videos honest. So what you're seeing is, is actual live shooting, you know, and uh, integrity of target, I guess you can say. I mean, I mean, what good would it do to be dishonest, you know? And you got to be honest, at least with yourself. But uh, if I ever, you know, the, the like the political condition we're in now, you know, practicing with your rifle, you never know. I mean, you it 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 may not be a target practicing or hunting. It may be a life and death. Yeah, damn it. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to cuss. Yeah, that's where it is. It's grouping high. <laughs>